Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand CSS box model and its properties. In the previous video tutorials, we have already discussed various CSS properties with respect to content area. We also discussed various CSS properties with respect to padding area. We also discussed various CSS properties with respect to border area. We left with one more area that is margin area. Margin area is the area around an HTML element. CSS margin properties are used to clear a area or a space around an HTML element. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS properties with respect to margin area. Before we proceed and understand various CSS margin properties, first of all, I would like to set up you can see that I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. In the notepad body section, I am going to create div element, closing div. Within that, I put some content. I am going to copy this div, paste few times, one, two. File save go to browser and refresh you can see that three div content got displayed then what i do i am going to identify them uniquely i say id equal to div1 the second div is going to have id div2 the third div is going to have id of div3 then i say here style type equal to text or css closing style tag I tell to the browser, locate any div in this page which has an ID of div1, apply background color of cyan semicolon. File save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that first div has a background color cyan. Similarly, I copy this code, paste down. I tell to the browser, locate any div which has an ID of div2, apply the background color magenta. File save, go to browser and refresh. Second div has the background color set to magenta. Similarly, I copy this code. I say here, locate any div which has an ID of div3, apply the background color yellow. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that div3 has the background color set to yellow. One of the important thing you need to observe is there is no margin around any of the divs actually. We can apply margin by using CSS margin properties. First CSS margin property we are going to discuss is CSS margin top property. Margin top property is used to specify the amount of area to be cleared above an HTML element. Various values that we can assign is we can give a tow value, we can use fixed length units like pixel, we can use a responsive unit like a percentage. Let's see the demonstration and get clear idea. I tell to the browser, here, div2 should have margin top of 10 pixels. I am going to clear 10 pixel area above the div2 element. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that here the margin is added above the div2. Margin will be transparent friends. That's the reason you are seeing the background color white there. Similarly, we take the next CSS margin property. CSS margin right property. Margin right property is used to specify the amount of area to be cleared on the right hand side of an HTML element. Various values we can assign a tow, fixed length unit like pixel, point, responsive unit like percentage, em. I go to the notepad. Here I say apply the margin right of 10 pixels, file, save, go to browser and refresh. Now the div2 has the margin of 10 pixel on the right hand side, right? 10 pixel area is cleared on the right hand side. Similarly, the third CSS property is CSS margin bottom property. Margin bottom property is used to specify the amount of area to be cleared below an HTML element or under an HTML element. Various values we can assign, auto, fixed length units like pixel, pt, responsive unit like percentage, em we can use. Now I go to the notepad, here I say margin bottom of 10 pixel semicolon. 
file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that margin bottom is added. Below the div2, 10 pixel area is cleared by the browser, right? Similarly, the next CSS property we have is CSS margin left property. Margin left property is used to specify the amount of area to be cleared on the left hand side of an HTML element. Various values that we can assign are auto, we can use fixed length unit like pixel, point, responsive unit like percentage or em. Let me go to the notepad, I tell to the browser, margin left should be 10px. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that left hand side 10 pixels margin is added. That is how you can clear the area around an HTML element. We also have the shorthand notation that is CSS margin shorthand property. Margin shorthand property is used to specify the amount of area to be cleared around an HTML element. Value to the margin property is going to be space separated list of values. We can give a single value, we can give space separated two values, we can give space separated three values and space separated four values. Let's see some examples. Margin colon 10 pixel. We are giving only one value. This value is going to be dedicated to margin top, margin right, margin bottom as well as margin left. So margin top is going to be set 10 pixel, margin right is going to be 10 pixel, margin bottom is going to be set 10 pixel, margin left is going to be set 10 pixel. Let's see the demonstration. Instead of writing four lines like this, I am going to take help of the shorthand property margin and I say here 10px semicolon. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that there is no change. Div2 above 10 pixel, right side 10 pixel, below 10 pixel, on the left hand side 10 pixel area is cleared by the browser. We can increase more and decrease more if we want. I say here 20 pixel, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that more margin is added around div2. Similarly, as I told, we can give space separated two values, margin colon 10px space 20px. The first value will be dedicated to margin top and margin bottom. Hence, margin top is set 10 pixel, margin bottom is going to be set 10 pixel. The second value will be dedicated to margin right and margin left. Hence, margin right is going to be set 20 pixel, margin left is going to be set 20 pixel. Let's see the demonstration. I go to the notepad. Here I say 10px space 20 pixels. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can observe that margin top and margin bottom are having 10 pixel margin set. Similarly, on the left hand side, on the right hand side, you see 20 pixel margin set. We also give space separated three values. First value is dedicated to margin top. Second value will be dedicated to margin right and margin left. Third value will be dedicated to margin bottom. Hence, margin top is going to be set 10 pixel, margin right is going to be set 20 pixel, margin left is going to be set 20 pixel, margin bottom is going to be set 10 pixel. Let's see the demonstration. This, this time I give here 10 px. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see there is no change. Margin top 10 pixel margin right and margin left 20 pixel, margin bottom 10 pixel, right? Also, we can give four values, 10px space 10px space 10px space 10px. First value will be dedicated to margin top, second value will be dedicated to margin right, third value will be dedicated to margin bottom, fourth value will be dedicated to margin left. Let's see the demonstration. Here I say 10 pixels, here I say 10 pixels. File, save, go to browser and refresh. All four sides we have 10 pixel margin set. We can try if we want. Here I say 20 pixel. Margin top should be 20 pixel. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Above the div2 we have 20 pixel margin set. Similarly, I can see on the right hand side 30 pixels. File, save, go to browser and refresh. On the right hand side, 30 pixel margin is set. Similarly, at the bottom, 20 pixels. File, save, go to browser and refresh. 
bottom margin is set to 20 pixel. Similarly, on the left, 30 pixels. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that on the left hand side, 30 pixel area is cleared by the browser. That is how you can use CSS margin property to apply margin around an HTML element. I hope you guys have clearly understood CSS margin properties, how you can use them. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we get more information on CSS properties. I suggest you people to try using these properties and experiment more. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.